seven, the Hampton Cemetery trustees, Sue Irwin, Tom Harrington, and Matt Shaw, along with the following 25 registered voters of the town of Hampton, request the sum of up to $45,000 to be taken from the Cemetery Burial Trust Fund for the purchase of a new three-quarter ton four-wheel drive pickup with plow for the Hampton Cemeteries. Not recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 13-0. Fiscal impact note, no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 47? Moved by Mr. Shaw. Is there a second? Uh, seconded by Mr. Cushing. Um, uh, Mr. Shaw, would you like to speak to uh, Article 47? Thank you, moderator from Zazzle. You're doing a fine job today. Thank you. This large, overwhelming crowd we have left here. It, what time is it? Don't even talk about that. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, the 1996 Chevrolet uh, GMC three-quarter ton pickup truck that we have presently at the cemetery is rusted out, rotting out, and has had it. Um, in 2008, we bought a dump truck for the cemetery to, re to replace that truck. Um, but the dump truck is great for plowing and moving heavy materials around the cemetery, but it's not very good for the, the uh, I, I don't want to mention any of their ages, the workers, but they're uh, elderly, part-time workers. So it's, it's hard for them to, uh, lift the lawn mowers in and out and all the other products. So we need a lower truck and we also need, you know, it's helpful if it has a plow. Um, we put together this article um, and it's to take the money out of the cemetery burial trust fund so we'll have no tax impact on the town. But I will like to make an amendment to this article to, uh, to straighten out some legalese or legal jargon to make this uh, more legal and I will uh, make that article uh, make that amendment by oh, would you like me to pass it or would you like me to read it why don't you read it please all right it'll change to on the petition of the Hampton Cemetery trustees Sue, Sue Irwin Tom Harrington and Matt Shaw along with at least 25 registered voters of the town of Hampton shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $45,000 for the purchase of a new three-quarter ton four-wheel drive pickup with plow for the Hampton cemeteries and to authorize the withdrawal of that amount from the cemetery burial trust fund. Is there a second to Mr. Shaw's amendment? Seconded by Mr. Kravitz. So I take that, Mr. Shaw, that's a housekeeping uh, yes. amendment, and otherwise the, uh, the, the gist of the amendment is purchase the equipment for the sum stated. Right. Okay. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the Shaw Amendment? We have to have a vote on the Shaw Amendment. Seeing none, let's have a vote. All those in favor of the Shaw Amendment? Do we have that language up there? Is that the language? Okay. So all those in favor, raise your voter card, down card, all opposed. Shaw Amendment has passed. Do we need any further discussion on this article? Mr. Moody. Art Moody, I'm sure you knew I was going to speak on this. I like to kick this one around. <coughs> This uh, cemetery burial trust fund was created. Of course, the selectmen got to town meeting in 1986 to call it the burial ground trust fund. But the next year, when they deposited money into it, uh, they changed the cemetery burial trust fund. And that's the way it ends. <clears throat> it was a motion that uh, it was a selectman and seminary trustees motion back in 86 or petition or one article and to withdraw interest, interest annually <coughs> uh, and use for the maintenance of cemeteries. <coughs> the next year, the, the voters really had a chance to decide what they wanted to do with that article because it was a petitioned article that was recommended by the budget committee that in addition to allow, on a two-thirds vote, 
to withdraw for capital expenditures. The selectmen in the cemetery trustees article didn't have that. It's just to withdraw the interest. And that was not recommended by the budget committee. But on the floor of town meeting before Senate Bill 2, official voting, ballot voting, the petitioned article, which was by me as first, uh, was failed and the Slackman's article. So we figured we had a real trust fund. And then the uh, law was changed that said, unless it said a certain word, irrevocable, you can spend the principal. Well, this was adopted under prior law, which is perfectly legal, and the intent of the voters certainly was very clear that they didn't want to use the principal for capital expenditures. And I'm, that's what the court, I think, would uh, uh, recognize. Uh, they first uh, withdrew from that in 1996, I believe. Nineteen ninety six for that truck that Mr. Uh, Shaw mentioned. <clears throat> there was no money in the article, but uh, they let they let an amount be put in at twenty five thousand plus a plow, which was not warned of the meeting either. <clears throat> and that passed and I objected that it was against the the uh, will of the voters. Well, the next year I petitioned to dump the rest of the cemetery burial trust fund into the general fund to help the tax rate in 1997. Well, Brian Lacey, who was on the ballot alone to be elected a cemetery trustee in 97, so he was more or less elected, he moved to substitution that went along with what the intent of the voters was in 86. Just the interest. Just the interest. And that was the first Senate Bill 2 voting. So we had over 3,000 voters and 71%, 71.7%, 2,200 said, yes, we want to keep that intact. Well, Mr. Lacey got reelected in 2000. He was there for six years, but once he left in 03, things sort of reverted back to the old gang. And in 06, they bought another truck from the trust fund to replace in the Warren article a 12-year-old, yeah, 12-year-old truck, the one in 96, to replace it. But we've heard today that it wasn't replaced. They kept it. And according to the Hampton Union, Mr. Shaw told the Budget Committee to get their vote, to get them to change their not recommended vote, he just mentioned, he didn't, uh, at least in the Hampton Union, he didn't mention that truck that we bought most recently, uh, but just that old truck, which is now 18 years old. It added six years. Of course it did. Uh, so we're back to the old stuff today, and I object. I asked Mr. Shaw about uh, whether the, the newer truck got damaged when they hit the ugly chain link fence post during a storm in January and he said it wasn't damaged but the post miraculously was replaced within two or three days uh, with a nice shiny post uh, I, I read the Hampton Union uh, police log <clears throat> and although other accidents reported on this second and third of January uh, that one wasn't reported damage to town property, uh, I think that's a, that's a very serious uh, thing, that it wasn't reported to the police involving a motor vehicle. Uh, I therefore object to this coming out of the Cemetery Burial Trust Fund, 
and especially after that vote in 1997, that the voters wanted to keep it intact. And I would hope uh, this get defeated, to tell you the truth, because uh, never before 1996 had two trucks in a cemetery. In fact, we had a truck that was replaced, that was the hand-me-down from DPW, lasted 25 years, ended up with no door on it. Uh, but they don't do that anymore because they plow the whole cemetery every one inch of snow, which just destroys everything. Thank you, Ms. Moody. Anyone else? Uh, Ms. Brown. Yes, Russ Bridal, 225 Toll Farm Road. I think we need to replace this truck. This truck is 18 years old. If it was bought in 96, I can do the math like everybody else. Um, the crew that we have over there at the cemetery, uh, I don't know about you, but a lot of respect goes in it by those guys that work there. They are, do a lot of good work. They do a good job. For what we pay to have those cemeteries maintained, we get an excellent job. And if it, if it takes getting the truck that makes it a little bit easier for those guys to be able to lift and put stuff in it, I'm all for it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pryor. Before I go back to Mr. Shaw, anybody else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Mr. Shaw, you have any further comment? I had a great time. I lost it. All right. All right. <laughs> I would just say that. Uh, well, okay. All right. We're all set then. Article 47. Yeah. Okay. I would, I would say not only did we buy the other two trucks on taking the money out of the, uh, the, the trust fund, but we've also done an expansion at the cemetery, too, I believe, okay. using the fund. So it's kind of a historic thing that we've done this more times. I believe the last time that we asked for money from the trust fund, we got a, um, we actually got a, uh, a legal opinion, a legal opinion and, and it was that it was okay to do this, so I would just add that. I hope all the voters come out and vote for this. It's not going to cost anything. And as far as getting a vehicle handed down, uh, there's more than three miles of road, close to four miles of road in that cemetery that need to be plowed. And uh, that's why it is helpful to have two trucks. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. All right, Article 47 will appear on the ballot as printed.